go. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not going to guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what... It's called a litter. That's so dumb. It's not a litter of kittens. Okay, okay. Hot air balloon. More walking, less talking. <laughs> That's so cute. Hey guys, it's Unico and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So recently I've been going through, uh, I've been completing my second playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2 and uh, the last time I was playing I actually ended up with this sequence, uh, that at the beginning of this sequence and I ended the, my play session right there because I wanted to record this. This mission and this whole sequence was one of my favorites in the whole game. It's a callback to the first game when the whole journey was with the Ellie and Joel and this mission and a few missions after that. This one was the sweetest because in this mission we see to get both of them be happy and it's Ellie's birthday and Joel is taking her to a museum which we'll be going to right now and so overall I just think that uh, this particular moment after the whole dark first sequence of the game this particular mission and this whole sequence brought a whole lot of levity and you know lighten the mood and the atmosphere of the game and this is going to be fun okay so he's okay mind your step i got it Oops. Ah! <laughs> and so this is where we learn that okay ellie has learned how to swim finally <laughs> what is wrong with you you should see your face right now you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. Yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. It's this way. You're worse. Yes, so, so I'll tell you one thing. Remember, I don't... Better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You, you push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. <laughs> at the end of the last of us the first game so when ellie asked joel to yeah, promise her that yeah. whatever he told her about the fireflies was true and he does he lies and at the end it wasn't clear whether they'll have a good relation going forward or not because ellie didn't really trust him Looks like <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> Refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, so at the end of the first game, we weren't really sure. I wasn't really sure personally whether uh, Joel and Ellie will have a good relationship going forward or not because you know Joel lied to her and I was pretty sure that Ellie knew that Joel is lying to her but apparently not because uh, yeah, I got this. we see in this game discovered in the future of this game obviously that uh, Ellie didn't know and we can see over here that they're having a good time on Ellie's birthday so Ellie did trust him that he told her the truth and by the way, can we just appreciate how beautiful, how f gorgeous this game looks? I mean, come on. When I was playing this on my uh, Pro, when it released, PS4 Pro. Is it my 6th grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really... Need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. <laughs> Got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? Okay, I, I lost my chain of thought. I forgot what I was saying. 
but yeah anyway yeah this game how gorgeous it looks so i remember playing it on my pro and i was thinking that if this is what the ps4 can do i mean for the 30 fps granted but i remember thinking that if this is what my ps4 can do do i really need a ps5 and the ps5 wasn't even out then yet but and i didn't even know what it would be capable of but it had been announced and i was like okay This game is just amazing, and in 60 FPS on the PS5, it's even better, much better. Here. Okay. Seeing Joel and Ellie together is just so Fuck fucking beautiful. Especially, uh, spoiler alert, I mean obviously, but oh, in the beginning wait, of this game, Joel is brutally collection? killed, and no, wait. you know, this just. Collection? Yes. That's a, which one? Just yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Okay. Okay, you're about to see Ellie. What the surprise was. It's a dinosaur! Shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit! Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur! <laughs> Her language is so salty, man. King of the tyrant lizards. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wait, I'll show you something. So I did this in my pl first playthrough as well. There's something I can do. So wait a minute. I climbed the T-Rex. And yeah. See, this... What are you doing? The attention to detail on this. Just be careful. I'm climbing in this game. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. You see, because... This is not... Prompted. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. So last time I jumped. Oh, I can't climb down. So anyway. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. I'll do it again. Awesome. But yeah, anyway. So this is like completely unprompted. You don't have to do that. You can easily skip that. There are no game prompts. Ellie doesn't say she wants to climb a dinosaur. Joel doesn't say don't climb. Like it's completely optional and you have to discover it for yourself. But the fact that they created animations and dialogues for this particular sequence, that's just awesome. The attention to detail in Naughty Dog games is just amazing. Okay, once more. Go! Go! I think Joel will have another dialogue now. Okay, now. Now let's just go. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. How did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. What's this? Uh, it's a book. It's a dinosaur book. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Ellie was obsessed with dinosaurs in the first game, and uh, being an astronaut, I think. She told Joel at that uh, before Joel got hit that. Uh, there's a cool option dialogue over here. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. <laughs> Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get okay. it? Excuse your old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Huh. 
Look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a de... Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Hmm. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. Looks like you two have something in common. Yeah, very oh, funny. <laughs> Good one. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry I wasn't speaking for a uh, while there. Someone was in my room. So, anyway. So, yeah, you can go and, you know, talk about, interact with all these. This is one I recognize. Yeah. Ceratops means three horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. No, I would not, sir. Let's see. Yeah. So there's a hat somewhere over here. I got it the last time, I don't know. Dime Trodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator? Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? <laughs> Gallimimus' name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> I guess so, Ellie. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops! Yeah, there's one scene where, uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, Movie night. Yeah, yeah, great. But I want so I won't go up. Oh wait, something's there. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a big ass dinosaur, man. How about that? Huh. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Yeah, I was surprised too. When I only learned about dinosaurs from the movies. Like Joel did, I guess, but yeah. Anyway, so there's this other room on the other side of this atrium. I wanna go there. It's pretty cool, I think. I don't know. Yeah. You can make all sorts of expressions on it. I can uh, mm. 
<laughs> this is funny. Anyway, let's go back. And the fact that Joel is just looking at her, you can see him in the mirror and just fed up of his kid. Oh, I got a card. The Nighthawk Trading Card. It's oh, uh, cool. it's a hero. These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What is the little creature thing? I forget. He's so comfortable talking about his dead daughter with his well new adopted daughter. That's sweet. Wait, there was a. Where could I get the hat? There was a hat somewhere. I remember uh, putting on the hat on Joel just over here. So the hat must have been. I don't know, man. I don't suppose I care. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's the hat. Here we go. Nice. And you can put the hat on these other dinosaurs. Wait, why can't I put it on Joel? I put it on Joel last time. I'll just go up. I don't want to waste a lot of time. It's kind of boring. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. You can put it on him and then you can't take it back. But you can also put it on those other dinosaurs. The hat, I mean. And then you can take it back and then you can put it on Joel. But I guess we'll just end it over here. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a call back to the first game. The m when they were standing like this and they saw a giraffe. It was a beautiful moment. I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. And now I can't get it back because you all threw it, but yeah. Now we're going to the space exhibit, right? Here? Um, we can head back. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> yeah. My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, <laughs> did you just have a stroke? <laughs> My Mercury. Very. Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. The solar system, model of the solar system. That's so cool. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Uh, uh, so I'm. We learned a different acronym and different mnemonic for this. I don't remember what it was, but it was not my very educated mother. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Hey, gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. <laughs> Did they become super flies? What? No. <laughs> Wait, something is there. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess.
Okay, what did she just draw over here? One day. Ah, uh, that's so. That's wow. That's sad, man. Anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna sit on this again. Lunar roving vehicle, Lowry. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> I want to wear one of these. I don't remember which one I wore the last time, but this time, let me see which one I'm gonna get. Oh, there's only three options. Okay. I probably got this one then, the last time, but this time I'll get... I'll just take any one. This one looks nice. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. This is an awesome scene. This is such a sweet moment. A little kid and her wow. dad. You look at all these buttons. Man. Could you imagine just <laughs> It is badass. And now the gift. Let's just watch, watch this in silence. It's beautiful. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. See the attention to retail, her breath is fogging up the helmet inside.
She is so happy. Looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. Hey. Welcome to Earth. This is awesome. Man. The relationship, it's, 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 it's too precious. And see, that's why in the beginning when Joel was, you know, by, you know, it, I, it lit such a fire in my heart. Like, I mean, I know people hate on the story because Joel was killed in the beginning and everything and, but, I have to give it to the writers. They knew how to play with our emotions. This was a f fucking fantastic journey. The whole game, actually. And this part the is... Museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? <laughs> I'll show you, old man. I mean, you already know. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> give anyone else this much grief. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, so I'll show you one thing. Uh, pretty cool I discovered it I didn't do it myself I discovered it on YouTube or somewhere I think so if you play the first game you will remember the how uh, Joel Ellie couldn't swim basically so Joel as Joel if you were playing as Joel you had to get these pallets for her these wooden pallets for her to swim uh, for her to stand on so you could carry her across uh, what is a water like small what is water like this so there's a pallet over here and if you go there I'll show you you can go to this pallet and it can tr you can trigger a dialogue. Joel, look. Want to give me a ride? <laughs> Those days are long gone, kiddo. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Again, a completely optional thing and but though this is not that as intricate as the dinosaur thing, but still. You know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Now we are going to get to the scary part a little bit, I guess. What's he doing? What you doing, Joel? There's a bear over here. Let's go in. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Okay, so she does have a gun. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is a scary part because you're alone in here. And there's some scary shit. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. So these wolves are hunting this animal. Bison? Moose. Okay, okay, moose. This guy needed a hug.
I hear another gun. So rock, it's a villain. So anyway. I had to shake my controller. <laughs> I'm trying to make fun of the whole family for the whole world. The world inside is on this million and want to win. So they can't look at the person and they can't. So whoever was living here, they killed themselves. Stupid fake animals. So wait a minute. There was another way over there, maybe. No, not this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Over here, yes. What's here then? Oh, it's just... Mm. Well, I got some collectible stuff. I guess that's good. Can I craft something? No? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a fucking wild boar. Well, at least it's not a wolf or something who wants to eat me. How? Oh. How was it? It's just some animal. Fireflies. Oh. Let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. Such a great day for her, and then she saw the fireflies symbols. I 
And so the words, the word liars written over there, that's just... Oh, it's the end of the memory, I think. Yeah. Seattle Day 2, now back to the depressing part of the game. All grown up, Ellie. Yeah, so that was it, guys. And what did you guys think? Have you guys played the game? And have you guys played the first game? So this was a pretty non spoilery part, though I did say it. I mean, I did spoil some things for you, but if you're watching the video, I assume uh, you don't care about that spoilers or you have already played the game. But anyway, so what do you guys think of this sequence? I think it was a beautiful uh, moment in the game and uh, yeah, brought some, like I said, it brought some levity to the whole atmosphere because now we are back to the grind, to the, to the brutal killings and everything. And this was a very nice moment and you get to see Joel and Ellie and m many people who criticize the game who say the story sucks or whatever. They actually find uh, these flashback moments with Joel and Ellie to be the best part of the game. Because, I, I mean I get it, most people think, uh, went to the, into the game thinking it was going to be a Joel and Ellie adventure like the first game was which hooked people in and which people loved. The relationship between these two and I mean I get it, it's a beautiful relationship but that's not what this game was this as dark as the first game was this was something on another level so yeah i won't even describe this as a game so i was talking to this friend of uh, this someone i know on discord and uh so he actually had the same thoughts as i did about this game that uh, it's not even fair to call it a game it's more of an experience you know and uh, yeah so that's it so i would like to know what you guys think about this game and this sequence and this whole do you enjoy the game did you hate it what's your opinion i personally am not even sure by now whether i love the game or hate it i don't hate it i mean whether i love the game or not because it's complicated but i do know that i would recommend this game to anyone who's played the first part it's a must play game experience even if you forget about the story the whole the graphics the setting the attention to detail everything that's worth experiencing at least once so yeah that would be it and i would take a leave now and hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing to the ch subscribing to the channel if you want more such content in the future and bye bye